In this post we are going to talk about emerald green, an extra hot upon a pono tool that is used as a trigger phrase, we are going to see what it is for, how and when to use it, and other details, so you can use this hot upon a pono tool for your healing effectively. Let us remember that hot upon a pono is a problem solving technique from an energetic or spiritual point of view that was used by ancient Hawaiian shamans and that it has been adapted to modernity by Morna Simeona, Dr. Hugh Lend and Dr. Joe Vitale, you can subscribe to the free course that we have available if you want to learn the basics of Hataponopono, https colon slash slash ilwithaponopono.subscribemino.com slash dot however, in summary, we can say that the technique is based on breaths and the focus on certain phrases to align our subconscious mind towards love and forgiveness thus allowing the divinity to have a free path to help us erase those memories that are in our subconscious and that are wounds that are being reflected in reality creating the problems that we see on a daily basis. It is like a way of going to the divine source to erase those traces or memories and from there create a healing cascade for you and your environment. What is mana energy in Hataponopono and Huna? How trigger phrases work in Hataponopono? It is important to mention that in Hataponopono there are trigger phrases as part of the complementary tools to help us in our healing process, these are words or small phrases that focus on a particular topic and that help us to our subconscious can connect with the divinity and it can cleanse and erase the memories that are inside all of us and that include themes of pain, anguish, worry, poverty, illness, conflicts, etc. This time we will talk about Green Emerald a beautiful Hataponopono tool for healing physical pain. Hataponopono for physical healing. In other posts, we have talked about the four levels of perception or manifestation, physical, mental emotional, soul, and spirit, and how they interact with each other, the highest levels easily influence the lower ones, however, the densest also influence the ascending to superiors, and it is always about seeking consistency throughout the hold. This means that if we seek a healthy mind and spirit, we must also be consistent with body care and vice versa for comprehensive health. However, it is important to mention that as the higher levels are stronger in their influence, when we suffer some pain and let the thought begin to obsess over it and go to the most fatal possibilities then we are holding it back because in order for it to improve it will need dissolve and if we cling to thinking the worst then we contribute to its persistence and even worsening. Remember, what you resist, persists. Since as human beings we have a lot of tendency to persist in the thoughts that generate pain helping to perpetuate it, then that is where the emerald green hot upon a pono tool can be very useful to change that. We also recommend that you then review other trigger phrases that are also aimed at physical pains such as blue ice or indigo blue, and that can help you complement your hot upon a pono practice, being as effective as the one we are seeing here, that it's emerald green. Blue Ice, Hot Upon a Pono Tool. Emerald Green is a tool for physical discomfort. Green Emerald is a trigger word, a Hot Upon a Pono tool that helps us, like other phrases, to allow the divinity to erase and clean limiting beliefs and memories of pain. Let us remember that for this the subconscious must release those memories and open up to divinity and for this, the phrase of Emerald Green helps us, in this case, focused on those memories related to physical discomfort. Green emerald was chosen as a hot upon a pono phrase because it refers to the precious emerald stone, which has a beautiful green color that when light passes through it projects a ray of light that is associated with the attraction of the positive and the dispersion of the negative energies with which we are hooked and that have been affecting us. How to use emerald green as a hot upon a pono tool for physical ailments illness. Physical ailments and illnesses can have multiple origins, however, we can summarize that, although they may contain many stories about the wise, everything is reduced to memories that run in the subconscious and that are manifesting. This subconscious mind or inner child suffers, perhaps with guilt, resentment, etc. and this is manifested in the body. The curious thing about all this is that we with our conscious mind cannot fully understand all those stories or memories, but we do feel their effects and many times it seems that everything is out of our control. The subconscious mind is complex and powerful, but the good news is that it is impressionable and tractable to our conscious mind, so when the conscious mind focuses on something the subconscious mind will follow if there is enough focus and energy. For this, in Hataponopono we use the tools first to create silence from the thoughts that are hovering within us and refocus them on the goal of healing, so that if we redirect the mind to emerald green, 
then we immerse ourselves in that, in the emerald green, and its ray of light and its properties and we stop paying attention to the thoughts of discomfort, depriving them of the food of our energy to help dissolve them. When we deeply surrender to the visualization and repetition of the emerald green Hatapanapono tool, this opens the subconscious towards the divinity allowing it to erase and cleanse the memories related to the pain that afflicts us. When to wear emerald green, many ask us when to use this phrase, in the sense we can say that an ideal moment is just when we perceive discomfort, for example, pain begins to appear, you realize some discomfort, your sugar or blood pressure has risen, there is pain on an organ or joints, etc., anything that is not within the normal functions of your body. At that time you can begin using Hataponopono and incorporate the trigger phrase emerald green for physical healing. The moment we are aware of this presence of discomfort, we start using emerald green repeating it either only with our mind or out loud if possible, emerald green, emerald green, emerald green. Some also literally use an emerald gem as a support in their practice because the emerald is said in gem therapy to be a gemstone with protective properties that attract the positive and repel and scatter the positive. However, nowadays these gems are difficult to obtain either because of their rarity or some monetary value, so don't worry and be sure that the use of the phrase or the visualization of its emerald green ray are as powerful or more than the physical gem depending that they expand so much within your energy field with your focus. For how long should emerald green be used, there is no specific time to use the phrase, what you feel is good for you, let it be a time of connection and high vibration, where you give yourself to your focus with emerald green, it is not necessary to practice more time, but rather the depth of practice. After the time you consider appropriate, seek to continue with some activity that distracts or relaxes you, such as reading a book, washing the dishes, tidying the clothes, taking a hot and relaxing bath, listening to music that inspires you, etc. Remember that after the practice we must be attentive to the moments of inspiration that come to us and that invite us to take action in certain aspects of our lives that can help us in healing, perhaps you remember some therapy or meditation or information on how to take better care of yourself, and if you feel in your heart that this is in congruence with the changes that are taking place, 